Bishop DiMarzio doesn't hesitate to point out that the priesthood is difficult and that these 10 men are taking quite a challenge on their shoulders. Yesterday we had a uh, decision that will make same-sex marriage legal in this country. It's going to have a lot of implications for the church. They're being sent as lamb among wolves. That's what the gospel says today, and they're going to have their hands full. Bishop DiMarzio believes they are ready although he is worried about what the Supreme Court has wrought and what may happen next, not only with the marriage decision, but with Obamacare abortion mandates that are still on the books. You know, what we're facing is pretty much what the church has always faced, opposition. And so, um, thank God we have the Word of God, and the Word of God is truth. And so, uh, we don't have to focus on whether or not we're going to convert you know, all of society, we just need to go out and do the Lord's work. As the men accept those challenges, they also accept the grace of ordination as the bishop lays his hands on each of their heads to make them priests of the Diocese of Brooklyn. Then, a show of solidarity. More than 100 brother priests each lay their hands on the newly ordained's heads, then embrace them. Just the love that we experience through the priest welcoming you, through the laying of, on of hands, it's just very overwhelming. I, I couldn't see, I couldn't see how many were coming. I just knew that it was a continuous flow. They know what's in store because they've been priests for 10, 20, 30 years. And so they, they really have a shepherd's heart in trying to help us. It tells you that the church is like uh, one body. We are all one body of Christ. So we just gather together, you know, we worship together, we work together, and we pray together. The body that Father Wugas mentions is out in force. St. Joseph Co-Cathedral sits 1,200. On ordination day, it is filled to overflowing. After the Mass, hundreds stay in the Co-Cathedral to greet the new priests and be blessed by them showing confidence in their ability to serve the church despite the challenges ahead. He's been preparing for this for the last 12 years. How long has it been? High school. Yeah, <laughs> high school, since he was 14. So I think he's more than ready for the challenge. I hope that he's able to help a lot of people in the community. There are people out there that really need a lot of help. And he's a good man. And now he's a man of God. Tell me how you're feeling right now. Talk to uh, just overwhelmed. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's just an amazing time to see so many different people have come here. The support that I've received today made me ready. I realize how much I'm loved and how many people have my back. So let the challenge just come. Mass has been over for more than half an hour now. And as you can see, there are still people lined up to congratulate these priests, to pray with them and be blessed by them. They certainly have a lot of support as they begin their ministry in the Diocese of Brooklyn. Reporting for Currents from Prospect Heights, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.